we were able to optimize our equipment once again and add a great instrument. We have been using the Manfrotto 405 aluminum gearhead for about eight months now. On the advice of Manfrotto customer service, we solved the problem with the detached plastic handle with super glue. Since we glued it on, it is held reliably. At first we found it annoying that the smaller handle for fine adjustment up or down or sideways could only be turned with a firm grip and a little force. But we got used to it. Due to our design, with the extension rail to the front, a high leverage force acts on the video head and it has to hold this weight without any problems and without giving way. The video head does this without yielding even a millimeter. It remains very stable, so we are happy to accept the slightly higher force required for fine adjustment. Another advantage at Insect Macros is that the handles for height and lateral adjustment both point in the same direction, to the rear. Even if we quickly reach for the knobs, we do not trigger a reflex in the insects. The advantage of the firm grip on the knob is that slow-moving insects can be followed smoothly and very gently. When you activate the automatic object tracking on the Lumix FZ2000, the insect remains in focus even when it moves. As far as we know, only this combination of video head and camera offers this option. Another advantage has emerged. The lateral shifts to keep the insect in the picture can be carried out so sensitively by the video head that we were able to replace the Novo Flex Castell Cross with a simple Novo Flex Macro Castell Q. This has reduced the weight of the tripod again. The tripod with structure and camera now weighs 5.5 kg. So let's move on to our new achievement. The Pentax Papilio second 6.5 or 8.5 macro binoculars. The numbers refer to the magnification. We use the 8.5. At first, we couldn't believe that something like this would work at all. Too bad we didn't buy it earlier. I guess our own prejudices got in the way. My eyes got progressively worse over time. I kept having to ask Elizabeth, is the three millimeter spot an insect or just dust or a plant pollen? Then I took a magnifying glass with me to magnify the small things myself. And then I finally decided to buy the macro binoculars. Fortunately, now I no longer have to interrupt my filming to identify a plant seed on a leaf. With the Pentax Papilio II macro binoculars, I can now look at two or three millimeter insects from a distance of 50 centimeters. Focusing works without any problems from 50 centimeters to about three meters. Further back in the bushes makes no sense for us either way, as our macro rail extension doesn't reach that far and we very rarely put the tripod in the bushes. The movement of the grass and branches causes the insects to flee. Anyone who has ever filmed in a bramble bush with thorns or in stinging nettles knows why we don't like it. The first time I looked through these binoculars, they took my breath away. Simply sensational. The plants and insects are beautifully three-dimensional. This is an experience in a class of its own. I can just sit there for minutes and look at flowers, insects, and plants in 3D macro and be fascinated by their beauty. We rate the Pentax Papilio 2 macro binoculars as highly recommended. I don't want to do without it anymore. So that's all the news. Until later. Until then.